Welcome back to my channel. My name is Asha Nicole if you're new here, but if you're not, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, okay? So, it's gonna get personal in here. It's gonna get real personal today. Like, let's let's just talk sister to sister right now, okay? I'm gonna be telling y'all how I stay fresh all day, how I keep the kitty fresh all day, how I keep her tasting right all the time, I'll be letting y'all know my tips, my tricks, so stay tuned if you want to know. And I'm sure you do because you clicked on this video. So let's just jump right into it. Now before we get started, y'all already know what I'm going to say like this video because i'm i'm spilling all the tea and i'm sure you're gonna like it you're gonna take something from it i promise you and before you do that go ahead and subscribe because a lot of people i was looking at the analytics and the demographics and all the other technical stuff and a lot of people are not subscribed y'all just look at the video and click off uh-uh 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 go ahead and subscribe because you're gonna love it here and you're gonna want to be here all the time so go ahead and join the fly crew okay now you're a part of the fly gang because i know you subscribe and i know you like this video now let's get into the video okay okay so i'm gonna be telling y'all how to be smelling good all today how to be tasting good all the time i'm about to be letting y'all know what i do and how i do it and i always get compliments on how like oh you smell so good like what is it and i can never tell people what it is because it's literally a routine like it's not no perfume sometimes it might be the perfume but most of the time they're smelling the routine they smell in my hygiene it's not just like it's just one thing you're smelling all of my essence and my glory honey and that's why you like it that's why you digging the vibe babes so let me tell y'all what it is first things first make sure your house smell good okay because if your house don't if your house don't smell good you won't smell good i have a cat and a dog and nobody will ever know because i don't smell like my pets i don't wear my pets um i keep them clean i keep their litter box clean i make sure my dog is clean most of the time um i don't smoke in my house so I don't smell like smoke. That's another thing. If you smoke, make sure you smoke it outside because it, it gets trapped in your it gets trapped in your bedding. It gets trapped in your it gets trapped. Smoke gets trapped, okay? So make sure if you if you don't want to smell like smoke, because smoke has an odor, make sure you lighten some candles, spraying some incense, wiping everything down, because you're gonna start to smell like your house, whether you know it or not. And people can smell like their house. So that's why I always say, make sure you're keeping your house clean. Make sure it's smelling good, okay? With that being said, let's jump into the real tips. Let's jump into some real stuff, all right? To keep it smelling good is first tip. First tip, well, this is like the second tip. Make sure your clothes smell good. I like to use um, Tide, Game. Those are only, really the only two um, detergents that I use. But... The key to having fresh smelling clothes is the fabric softener. I love downy. You can get downy intense, but downy, you're gonna smell downy when it's in the dryer. You're gonna smell downy when it's in the wash machine. You're gonna smell downy. And I've used the like little scent beads. I've used majority of all of the um, fabric softeners, but Swabotel, um, downy, and the scent beats are the only three that I know that are really potent and you can smell it when it's washed and you can smell it when it's drying. So make sure you're using fabric softener. That is gonna, that's what's going to help your clothes smell good. The detergent is going to help, but the fabric softener is what is going to lock in that, that fresh smell. Okay, So that's what's going to keep you smelling good for your clothes. Okay, Because your clothes have an odor too. Right? Next. This is like a hygiene high, like a hygiene routine type, type thing. If you want your breath to be smelling good, make sure you're flossing. Where is my floss? I brought all my products out so y'all could y'all could see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I I like to use placards because I used to have braces. 
so I wouldn't I couldn't use regular floss so now that I don't have braces anymore I still use them and I love them but now that I don't have braces I can actually use floss so make sure you floss in I like to use um uh I'll put my toothpaste on the screen the type of toothpaste I like to use that has peroxide in it so it's whitening your teeth and it's also making it smell good um i use i don't really use mouthwash because mouthwash is like really harsh in my mouth and i have sensitive teeth so as long as i'm like brushing my teeth flossing you should be good you know mouthwash is not really a necessity but if you like mouthwash use it i'm sure it helps um if i don't use mouthwash i'm always chewing gum so mouthwash doesn't really work for me okay so next thing on my list let's just jump into the shower routine how i smell good from the shower bay so what i do is when a shower is running let's say the shower is running it just started i like to put caress the bottle's almost gone i like to use caress as like a bubble bath type thing so when i'm in the shower i'll put caress all over the tub and let the bubbles foam up before i get in the shower I love Caress because it complements all of my perfumes. Like, it just smells so freaking good. Okay. Ugh, it just smells so... This is the Black Orchard in the Patchula Oil one. So, go ahead and smell that one. If you like it, go grab it. And I don't... I don't necessarily use that on my body. I just use it as a bubble bath. So, that way the shower itself can smell good. Okay. And that's what's going to help you smell good as well because that aroma is, you know, that aroma and that hot water is just, you know, going into your pores. So you don't necessarily have to put it on your skin because I have sensitive skin. Like this is going to be a sensitive skin video as well. If you got sensitive skin, this is a video for you. I don't use a lot of things on my skin, but I make sure that I'm using things that's going to smell good as well. So I don't use this on my actual body. I just put it inside the shower. Okay. So the next thing I do when I'm in the shower, I like to use an antibacterial soap on my body first to get the dirt off. And then I go in with like um, Dove or like some type of fragrance um, the soap. So an antibacterial soap would be like um, Dow, Dr. Bonner's. Um, I don't use Dr. Bonner's because it's too strong for me. Even if I dilute it, it's too strong because like I told y'all, I have sensitive skin. So I like to use Dow, the gold one, or Dow, um, any Dow, because Dow is antibacterial. So it's gonna get the it's gonna get the dirt off. Dove is not an antibacterial soap. Dove is just a beauty bar, it's just a moisturizer bar. All it's gonna do is make you smell good. We want to get clean, we want to be clean. So in order to be clean and actually smell good, you have to wash, okay? And use those, and use an antibacterial soap. I know a lot of people like Dr. Bonner, so that's why I said Dr. Bonner's. Me personally, it's too strong for my skin. Sensitive skin over here. Sensitive skin club, all right? Um, I know a lot of people like African soap. I love African soap. Um, African soap is for your skin. Make sure it's small. Make sure it's smooth. So after you use your antibacterial soap, I would go ahead and go in with some African soap as well. The next thing I do is I will take an exfoliating uh, cloth. And this is the one I use for my kitty area. So I have two. So this is for my body. This is for my kitty area. Now, when they say exfoliate your cat before you shave and before you go get a wax, they're talking about with us. They're talking about with this. They're not talking about like sugar and stuff like that. That's for like scrub like this. Uh, this is a uh, this is Mario um, Basquio. Like I don't really know how to say his last name, but body scrub is for like your body sugar scrub is for your body i you should not be putting sugar nowhere near your kitty parts okay in order to exfoliate your kitty all you need is soap in um one of these and you just you're you're exfoliating you just rub and i put the glove on and i exfoliate right here right here right here and that's it 
you shouldn't put it, you shouldn't be exfoliating your cat with sugar okay you know we want it to taste sweet but there's other ways to go about it and i'm gonna tell you that later in the video all right so the next thing i do is i do not use the same rag or well, the same towel as my face i use three i use three different rags one for my face one for my body and one for my kitty now these are the towels that i use for my my downstairs area i use baby washcloths for my downstairs area and i'm gonna tell y'all why i only use baby washcloths on my downstairs area because uh towels they hold a lot of bacteria even if you wash them i feel like there's still some bacteria maybe in them so i know if it's a baby washcloth i know for a fact that i it's only for downstairs and i wash them separately like they they have their own routine okay so that's another tip and if you want to keep that area clean and keeping it fresh make sure you're using a separate rag okay because if you're using like the fragrance soap you don't want to be putting it in the downstairs area i put i use fragrance soap on my body so i don't want to put that in my downstairs area and you don't want to use soap in the downstairs area as well like i don't use soap in the downstairs area i might wash on top like i might wash on top like right here but as far as like inside of my vagina i'm not putting soap in there it washes itself it cleans itself all you need to do is just like clean it out with the with the baby rag with some water and let it you know wash itself and it's gonna be perfectly fine if you still have a smell after you wash yourself with water then your your um your ph balance might be off and that's that's like a whole different totally different topic and let me tell you i have i haven't i haven't had any complaints like no complaints i don't have a smell and it's because i don't put anything extra down there i'm extra careful like all of this stuff is for my kitty i don't use it nowhere else on my body okay so moving on because that's enough about my cat <laughs> You want to make sure you dry off after you get out of the shower. Don't leave any water on your body because water will trap uh, bacteria in an odor. And so you want to make sure you're extra dry when you get out the shower. Okay, and so when I get out the shower, I use a baby lotion. I love baby lotion, y'all. It's just, it just smells so good. So I use a baby lotion. And then I'll use like a body butter or shea butter or hemp's. Um, I like hemp's birthday cake. It's really, um, it's heavy oil in here. So anything heavy oil, you can use baby oil. And I mix it with my scented baby lotion. And this will have you smelling so freaking good, y'all. A lot of the, a lot of these products are from the baby aisle, honey. I treat myself like a baby because the baby products are so gentle on your body. Like, oh, okay. So this is Mario Basquio um, body butter coconut, and it just depends on what fragrance I'm gonna use that day. That's what I put on my body. So if I know I'm gonna be putting on the sweet perfume, then I'll use the Hemp's um, birthday cake lotion if i know i'm gonna be putting on like a, um, a designer perfume i'll use shea butter if i know i'm gonna be mixing these two together i'm gonna do that because this is not really a moisturizer this is just to make it smell good you know so i make sure i mix those two okay i got my coffee all right okay so um the next thing when I do is when I get out the shower is I like to use a spray deodorant and a regular deodorant. So I put on my deodorant, put on my deodorant, then I'll spray it and spray it. And I like to I like to use um, dry spray invisible because it doesn't leave like a residue. And some people don't like Dove because it has aluminum in it. Me personally, I don't really care. Um, I know they say it causes cancer. I am a heavy sweater, so I need some aluminum, obviously, okay? Now, 
I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit of some more kitty tips for us tasting good, smelling good, and my hygiene routine. Um, when I use the bathroom, I don't just use tissue. I use wipes, okay? I don't. I wipe with regular wipes front to back, and then I use a baby wipe to get that puree or that poop smell off. And I use like a towelette. Um, one that doesn't have fragrance remember we're not using um feminine products we're not using feminine wipes we're not using none of that we use baby products because we know they're soft they're gentle on our body we don't need no fragrance down there she has her own scent okay you don't need to add no more scents to her okay she got her own aura her own smell we're not adding no more smells to her all right next thing what i do to keep my kitty tight and right and this is these tips will have you get eight off the bone let me tell you i get eight off the bone like i get eight like the last supper and i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna tell you why just stay tuned for the tips first thing first you gotta drink a lot of water okay this will help with water park water park this will help you have a water park and this will help you help you um tasting good as well because you are what you eat if you eat a lot of seafood if you eat a lot of um meats if you eat a lot of all that you're gonna be he's gonna taste that so you want to make sure you're flushing your system out as well keeping that healthy balance okay tmi but i get told i taste sweet so yeah follow these I tips I, I noticed that when i stopped smoking and when i stopped drinking my vagina had a different taste like when i when i would smoke heavy and i would drink heavy my vagina tasted like it so that's why i kind of stopped smoking and drinking because whether y'all know or not and this is someone who i've dated girls like not dated but i've been with another girl so i know what a girl tastes like that smoke too much or that drink too much you know because you can just i don't know how to explain it you can just tell like it just it's a taste like you are what you eat like if you smoke a lot your you can google this if you smoke a lot your vagina will taste tart okay so that's why i stopped smoking i don't vape i don't smoke weed none of that because i don't want to taste tart i want to taste sweet okay that's another reason why I stopped smoking. Like, that's just a personal reason. It's so many reason why I, reasons why I stopped smoking, but that's just one of them, okay? Now, like I said, make sure you're using wipes. Um, not to say that you can't smoke or drink, but make sure you're drinking a lot of water so that way it flushes out as well. Um, use water only. No feminine washes down there. Um, because feminine washes, they just throw off your pH balance. They're supposed to help, but it really don't. Like, it really don't. Like, you got to find a good one in order for it to not throw off your pH balance. Because they have so many fragrances and dyes and just all this stuff. Like, I'd rather just use water and keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Like, don't be doing too much, girl. Less is more. I promise you. Less is more. Um, I use like probiotics are good if you know your pH balance is off. If you know your body, you know your body. You know when your pH balance is off, you know when you need a probiotic. And I take probiotics maybe like if my pH balance is off, which is rare because I take good care of my hygiene. I get take good care of her. Um, some people use it after a period. What a period do is is shedding the lining of your insides. So I don't know why people take probiotics after a period. Like that's when your body is really getting back into its uh, natural state. So you really, really, you really don't need a probiotic. You only need a probiotic if you know your pH balance is off. Okay. So that's why I don't, I don't take probiotics as much because it's just, it's not needed. Like if you don't need it, it's like why if what is that saying if it's not broke don't fix it like if it's not broke don't fix it okay okay so let's go on to exfoliating you want to be exfoliating your body everywhere on your legs on your arms um like i was telling y'all i use um mario's coconut body scrub i use this on my legs my arms nowhere near the vagina area and I exfoliate, make sure I exfoliate after I shave, before I shave. And right now I'm using, what is it? What kind of razor do I use? I use a men's razor. 
and then I'll like roll on some skin tight. You can actually, I use olive oil to shave because it's so thick and rich. And then um, I'll put on some skin tight so I don't get any razor bumps, any ingrown hairs. And then you can use that method for the downstairs area too. I don't get razor bumps or um, ingrown hairs anymore because I use olive oil because it's heavy. And then I use that skin tight down there on the bikini area because that's what it's for. It's for ingrown hairs, razor bumps for the bikini area. And it's safe to use. And then a men's razor is just like real sharp, real, you know, gets real close to the skin without having to pass through so many turns. Okay. Next, last but not least, perfume. My favorite part. If you know me personally, you know I collect perfume. You know I'm a perfume connoisseur. You know I know all about the perfumes. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all what I use and how I use it. Okay, so my favorite scents right now are Miss Dior, and this is like a dupe, so I got this for Rainbow. This is the actual Miss Dior, and so if you want to try Miss Dior, but you don't want to spend Miss Dior money, go to Rainbow and get you the dupe. Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture is my baby. This is like, this will always give you compliments, but... And then I like baccarat. So I forgot to list um, Bond number nine NYC, the white one. When Two Chain said Bond number nine was his favorite scent, it's mine too, baby. White. K for men. I like um, CK Calvin Klein for men. I like a lot of unisex perf um, colognes because they smell so good on me. I get compliments from men and women all the time on men's cologne. But. If you're trying to save money, if you're trying to save, not even if you're trying to save money, because I use, um, I use oils every day. So when I get out the shower and I'm, after I put on my shea butter or my body butter, I will put on roll-ons before my perfume. So I put on my roll-ons and then I spray my perfume over top of it. So pussy, pussy is like the holy grail. If you don't know about pussy, I don't think I don't trust you with perfume okay get you some pussy and it will smell so good like literally literally people okay so this dude I would I was dating this dude and he would always just like when we would cuddle he would always just put his nose in my skin and I would have my pussy on and he he wouldn't even know he would just be like wow you smell so good like he would his nose would just be on my skin just smelling me like this and it's it's that dogs like them dogs like that pussy cat i'm trying to tell you them dogs like that pussy cat now now this one is um this was like pussy and pink sugar mixed together i got this from the mall you can go get them to mix them together and it just smells so good i, I think this is what people really be smelling they really be smelling this oil like designer perfumes work but if you're trying to be a baddie on a budget, go get you some oil, baby. Go get you some oil. Pink Sugar. This is like a classic. I've been wearing this since high school, honey. If you don't know about Pink Sugar, just start there. Just start about, Just start at Pink Sugar. Now, this one is the new one that I found. And it's from Ulta. And it's $20. It's the most expensive roll-on out of the bunch. Because these... These two are from the beauty supply store. These are like $3. This one's like $10 at the mall. But this one is $20. And it's worth every cent. I promise you. I promise you it's worth $20. I will literally go like. I will literally smell myself. And just want to bite myself. And it's called Amber. It is better than Baccarat. It's better than the designer perfumes. It's better than all of that. Like Amber is that girl. Go get you Amber. Hold on. Let me smell it real quick. Amber is that girl, bro. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. They need to sponsor me. But, yes, you will sense that compliment each other. So, let's say if you have a, um, if you're washing up with a vanilla body wash, make sure you're using a vanilla, um, a vanilla perfume so baccarat baccarat has vanilla undertones um just make sure you use the stuff that complement each other you don't want stuff that clash then you will stink and you will smell like a skunk so make sure you're using stuff that 
compliment mesh well not too loud but not too not too you know subtle okay I hope I wasn't talking fast in this video. Y'all know I'm going to say it every time because I'll be trying to get it all out in a time frame that is perfect. I hope you like this video. Um, I was very transparent. I was very like open about literally what I do in the shower, everything. And until next time, I love you. Use these tips now. Make sure you're using separate rags for your kitty. Make sure you're using three different rags. Make sure you're using your uh, downy. Make sure your house smelling good. And I promise you, you're going to get compliments everywhere you go. I get at least three compliments a day about how I smell. And it's because I do the routine. They always ask me, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? It's not about what I'm wearing. It's about the routine, girl. Get your routine. Stick to it, and I promise you, you're going to get compliments all throughout the day about how you smell. He's going to be in your skin. He's going to be wanting to be in your skin just like my boo do, too. And he's going to he gonna eat you off the bone. I'm trying to tell you. And until next time, I love you.